a bit of a hike if you want to walk up from Oneida Street. That's what's interesting about the push to close it to vehicular traffic is um, there's no parking for this park on Oneida Street and the parking is at the Eagle. And uh, if you close this road to vehicular traffic, you do cut off, uh, from my concern, accessibility to the, to the actual park itself. So there's more than one way to skin a cat. If we wanna make this more friendly to pedestrians, we need to figure out a way to share it, not cut it off to vehicles. It's a beautiful view. As far as our parks though, it's not just these parks. Just community, health, and wellness. If you look at a map of Utica, we have green space everywhere. Um, all the different districts, all the different neighborhoods, there's little, little green parks everywhere. You know, on roads like Telcot, uh, I believe there's one, well, I know there's one. Uh, my kids have some friends over there in Sophia, in uh, West Utica. You know, those types of little parks or more agile spaces where people can play kickball, do whatever they want, because they're just green space. You know, and then we've got Addison Miller, um, the park over on Sunset in West Utica, can't recall the name. Lincoln Park, Lincoln park as well, where that has everything from skate parks to swings and everything. Uh, Proctor Park over by Parkway Pizza, that has actual playground type equipment. The bottom of the ski hill on Oneida Street. Um, you know, Wankel. So a big part of living in Utica is enjoying the spring, summer, and fall in these parks. That's beautiful right there. I consider this more of a feature. The fact that we have something like this that you could drive through. Uh, sometimes in the summer, when my family and I are on the way to church, uh, which is in East Utica, we live in South Utica, we'll take this road, Steel Hill Road, etc., right through to uh, Valley View Road and continue on our way. The kids love, and love seeing stuff like this. Um, they get a view of the city that you literally can't see from any other place. And uh, then in the summer, you know, we go play golf with, with Michael and uh, he recognizes it from the golf course. He's like, oh, we drive through here on the way to church. <laughs> so it's, it's just, it's a really cool thing that I think a lot of kids grow up with here and they don't even realize they have it because it's just part of their life. This is the biggest park in Utica, but if people look at a map, what you'll notice is even outside of Utica, if you go all the way almost to Commercial Drive and look at a map, there is a strip of densely populated trees and green space um, all the way from New York Mills. Start and, and it kind of almost goes to the parkway. Obviously, once you get to Utica, it becomes the curated park system, uh, you know, which is RC, FT, and uh, TR. And uh, it continues all the way to Frankfurt, literally the Frankfurt border. So this is a feature. Now this is something interesting actually because everyone calls this the ski hill. And they look at it like a ski lift. And um, going back almost seven years ago, I did some research with the parks department and uh, which they already knew this, but we started talking about it together the reason we can't use this all year round and have people get on and off this lift on foot is simply because we don't have the appropriate platforms that the Department of Labor would allow people to do. Yeah, so it was only a couple of years ago I was riding up this lift with my snowboard and using a fully functional ski hill because it is a fully functional ski hill. No, but back to the other thing I was talking about. Um, multiple years in a row now, um, 
I've been integral in talking with the Parks Department and I'm trying to be humble about it. I've been proposing a multi-use plan for this lift. Um, if we build the appropriate platforms and can get people on and off by foot, you could actually bring people to the top of this hill um, with their bikes, with snowshoes, to hike, to take photographs, to get to the top of the hill and walk around up here. Um, you know, we have this chalet, which again, people call it a ski chalet, right? But that's actually a really functional place in the summer. Uh, there is a senior center there now. We have the gym, the basketball courts, and there are uh, functional concessions. And there's a, a vast amount of parking down there. These were newer chairs. These aren't old. If you look at them, they're the newer, um, I think that's polyvinyl chloride right there, but the, they're the newer lifts. And these lifts were built so that you can hang the bike hooks. You could put the racks for skis. You could put the racks for snowshoes right on them. Uh, so we started working on a multi-use plan because if we wake this hill up 12 months a year and start to use it for other uses other than skiing, it's no longer just a ski hill. This is a 12 month uh, usable space that can be agile. You know, one of the things in that multi-use plan proposal was, look, we could have a disc golf course where you can ride a lift to the top of this hill and continue on your disc golf course, uh, you know, as you're trekking through. So, so there's a lot of cool stuff. The city does get this lift inspected and does repair this lift and make sure it's functional every year uh, because we don't, we don't want to lose the resource and that's the key. But um, for a very small sum of money, we could wake this up 12 months a year and just see where it goes. People start using it. Um, another aspect of taking bikes up here, we're not talking about a downhill mountain bike track. We're talking about people of all ages and all abilities throwing their bikes on these chairs, coming up to the top. They could ride their bikes through the switchbacks, through the golf course, down through the lower parts of the park, and come back down in that full loop and arrive back at the ski chalet where their cars were originally parked. So it literally would just tie it all together. So this is pretty cool. We don't need $10 million to do it. We have to build some platforms and get this thing running year round. You know, people look at this like it's a small ski hill, but you know, as far as the region goes, this is something of a spectacle as far as being in the middle of a little city. I actually got sworn in at the beginning of my current term at the Eagle. Uh, a bunch of us came up here with Judge Garamon and the clerk at the time. And I'm trying to remember, it was definitely myself, Mark Williamson and Jack Lamedico, I think, pretty sure. No one here. This has been something that's, even though I'm just the council president, I've been very vocal and active in making sure we maintain the ski lift, make sure we maintain the facilities so that at some point, if a different mayor was elected, such as myself, or we had funds available, now that that ARPA money has been infused into the city, the current administration is doing a lot of different things throughout the city. Um, what's interesting is, from my vantage point, a lot of those things could have been happening all along. The ski hill's one of them. Waking up this ski lift so it could just be a people lift 12 months a year 
was not an expensive project. Um, it wasn't even anywhere remotely an expensive project. It would have almost been a maintenance project to bring it up to standards so people can get on and off the lift with the new Department of Labor standards on foot. Um, that would have allowed people to use the facility all year round. And we had someone who had snowmaking. Uh, they were contracted to run the facility. They had um, ski rentals. They had all of that type of equipment. You know, I really just want to see this used disc golf, tennis, all the, all the regular uses. It's not rocket science. If you go to Detroit, for example, you realize that there's no hills around you, right? When you grow up in Utica, you just get used to the fact that no matter where you look, you're looking into the side of a hill. You know, it's just normal for us to be in this giant valley, which is vast, right? But 